What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a new pickups video. This one is going to be vintage related slash thrifted pickups. I'm gonna run you guys through that right now. But before we even get into that whole thing, new setup, let me know if you guys enjoy this one. I might continue along with this one for now because I'm in the process of uh, doing a little switcheroos because of the new additions, AKA the rack. And then also just the new equipment. I'm trying to see what looks best. So you guys let me know what you enjoy. I know that the ring light is a bit harsh sometimes. So I'm going to be getting softbox lights shortly for the time being. This is the setup. Let me guys, let me know how you guys enjoy this one. Because I think this is one of my favorites. If it's not a favorite, I'll keep on adjusting. See what looks the best. Skinny past all the intro. Blah, blah, blah. Let's continue into the curated vintage pickups. The first one is not a shocker at all is the dwarf dealer going to get into some of his pieces right now it's kind of like a just an attitude character t-shirt these are pretty common like for vacation shirt shirts and then also just like funny shirts i guess i don't really know what to categorize this as but it's just like a piss me off type of shirt i've seen these pretty often on vintage accounts the reason why i like them i have no idea it's kind of like lighthearted. i like the graphic in general and then also the little paisley touch on the bandana is a cool detail black slack all of that continuing on to the next team of course all of these are from the dwip dealer he blessed me with three new t-shirts and no, the dwip dealer is not me a lot of people are thinking that the dwip dealer is me in disguise but no, it's not me. It's another one of, uh, now it's, he's a newfound friend of mine and he helps me find the vintage gems as he's gonna help you guys find some vintage gems because he just opened up his website. He doesn't only deal through it, his Instagram anymore. So I will be linking that in the description below. He will sell through Instagram DM too, I'm pretty sure. But now he's focusing in on the website and then also doing pop-ups. And I will be touching in on the pop-up situation a little bit because I might dabble into that myself and just do like a little pop-up shop at that monthly one that he does as well. So we'll get into that a little bit in the future. But as of now, we're gonna get into the rest of the stuff that the dealer sent me because he got some fire for the boy get into this next one this one is actually a guatemala like vacation shirt another one of those but i don't know what this dates to but it is completely completely obliterated with some nice distressing lots of holes going on all along the garment trying not to light these on fire obviously but uh what i had did was flip it inside out he had recommended it on the photo that he was showing this um on his instagram and Immediately, that's what I love the most about this is because it, like, it shows a muted pop of color beneath the tee whenever you reverse tees. That's what I'm kind of doing right now with my um, Cheaper by the Dozen t-shirt right now. It's just like a great wash of a tee. It's just kind of, it's not, it's not as bold of a, a graphic on a shirt all the time because sometimes you just want a plain white tee but with a little undertone of detail that you can't really get from a pack of three polo tees. So. That's what I like about this. It's a little light, great for the summer. All of these are gonna vary from size large to size XL. And when it comes to vintage t-shirts, I would definitely recommend trying them on as for any vintage garment because they always vary depending on the age, how many times the person washed it. There's like a whole bunch of factors. So I recommend asking for measurements if you're buying it online or if you're buying it in person, definitely try it on because that's how you're gonna know it fits your body the best because everyone's body is so different. But yes, this next one, crazy, Twisted Metal 3 t-shirt. Reason why I got this is because I remember as a kid, for some reason, I believe it was on Sega Dreamcast or PlayStation 1. I had that game, but I don't remember, I, I don't remember playing it too much, but I definitely had the game. And I remember the cover very vividly. This is a sick graphic. Like it gives you kind of like a death metal vibe without having to um, feel like you're appropriating. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to feel like you're wearing some type of band tee that you have nothing, like no knowledge about. So this is something that I have a bit of knowledge about at least. Since it's uh, a little bit of a vintage tee and the front and the back kind of match up as far as the scoop, I actually wear this in reverse and then this will be the front as this would normally be the front. Doesn't look too bad. Normally if it does peak up a little bit, I'll throw a little light jacket over it and then you would never tell the difference, especially since Dwip Dealer had repaired it along here. So it adds a, like a nice, 
touch of detail and character to the whole tee. Really gorgeous distressing on this piece. A little bit of staining on the front, but that's nothing to worry about, especially since this will now be the back the way I'm going to be wearing it. That was the last pickup from Dwip Dealer. Like I said before, go check him out. He definitely has you covered as far as the vintage goods and he's getting only better and better with his selection. So definitely go check him out. We'll get into some more vintage because that's what this whole video is about today. So let's get into this one by Iceman289. This is a throwback YouTube era, meetup, link up, link and build. The boy sent me over this tea. And if you guys are OG, 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 OG YouTube viewers, then you guys know who Iceman is. So if you guys are, you guys know who Iceman is, put it in the comments below. If you guys have been watching since that far back then, that's insane. Because I've been doing YouTube for a minute, but like Iceman days is like way back. So that's really sick. Iceman was actually the first person I remember watching on YouTube doing like vintage related content and to see it come full circle after a couple of years and be still as popping and maybe even even more popping than it was at one point is really cool to see. And then now he has a, a platform where he, or like a lane where he's able to thrive. So hopefully he's able to come back to the YouTube game and shed some light on it. But this is from his curated vintage Instagram shop that he just started up. I don't remember the name because he had just started it, I'm sorry, but I'm going to be putting it on the screen. Once again, huge shout out to the boy. He had found this in one of his thrifts and sent it to me right away because of the Montreal reference, obviously. And who better to sell it to or to give it to than the boy? Do I know what this is from? Definitely not. Montreal Machine, but it just has the Montreal bot on it, so I felt it was cool. Single stitch, had to flex that real quick for you guys. Only thing about this is that it's an XL. I'd probably cut the bottom because it is pretty long. You see the length. So might have to give that a little snip snip and uh, you guys will probably see that in an upcoming fit pick in the spring or summer because this is on the lighter side when it comes to t-shirts. So definitely gonna check that out a little bit later in the seasons. Be right back. Hold up. We digging through. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, there we go. Oh, maybe that's why they want to bring these to the front because they're heavy as hell. So they might be a little hard to showcase because of how heavy they are. But I had found this at one of my local thrifts. It's more like a moto style jacket. You guys know I'm fans of this because I have another one that's very similar to this in this style. Very like with a similar collar, kind of just like the motorcycle collar. I don't really know what to call it, but very, very similar. One is just all black, one is with the stripes. This is my older one, of course. Um, you guys have probably seen it on the channel already. This was like gifted to me by an uncle. Love this jacket a lot, I love the fit. Also, this piece that I just picked up is very uh, reminiscent to that one, so that's why I liked it so much. And also, it was just like a full grain black leather, very heavy and um, a similar just cut to that one and it was all black so I found it was a bit more wearable and you could get like more dressy with this. That's why I got this one. It was a pretty decent price. I believe it was like under 20 bucks. Great leather on it though, honestly, just in general, love this piece. And it is heavy as hell, so I'm gonna throw it to the side. And we're gonna get on to the next leather piece. I think that was from Observato. Honestly, with these leather jackets, you don't really know to, need to know the brand per se, because all of these thrifted leather jackets, you're not gonna probably find, you're probably not gonna find the exact one, but you guys can get a good reference as to what to look for when you go into a thrift store, because you can find some really great leather jackets for a steal of a price. 20 bucks for a leather piece is just so great, when in reality, a lot of the designer brands charge an arm and a leg for leather pieces. So I always feel like getting alternatives from the thrift store is always a great idea, especially when it comes to pieces like this. My girlfriend Megs has one very similar to this, but hers is in faux leather and I love the fit and feel of hers and I've stole it from her multiple times, but um, I really wanted to find one of my own because a lot of people know I don't like borrowing things from people. I feel like I owe them something. So I'm just saying I, I always feel guilty. I feel guilty inside holding um, pieces away from their rightful owners because if it was in reverse for me i don't like lending out my clothes unless it's for work or something so um yeah 
Point being, I wanted to get my own and I got my own. I'm very like like a Scandinavian all black oversized leather jacket style. Um, something I've been looking for for a while and it's kind of hard to find that, that exact one because they are pretty sought after. A lot of people want them. So I was lucky I found one. I did a little finesse for this. Got it for a way lower of a price than I normally would have for a thrift store. But um, great find, honestly. Made in Italy, size 50. Two, which would normally be a, a large or XL, I believe, but I think this is like a double XL and it's just huge. You could swim in this thing, but it's just great for the fall winter time. Um, highly recommend finding a leather jacket in this style for you because it's just very versatile. You can see a lot of people wearing styles of jackets similar to this right now. Oh my God, I messed up the whole setup doing the most with that jacket, I'm sorry. Stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit, I've been seeing a lot of people style these V-neck, no sleeve sweaters rather, on Instagram and I was kind of intrigued by this type of style because I have seen it in a lot of like 70s inspired outfits and you guys know that's one of my favorite eras when it comes to styling. And I was intrigued because I've never really tried a piece such as this. I came across it in a thrift store and I was just very like in awe. Made in Canada, very soft to the touch. But anyway, I just love the ribbing on the bottom. Really nice construction to this whole piece. And it was made in Canada, so it was like, done deal. Gotta sign me up for one of these. And I'm just curious to see how I will style something like this because I've honestly never done that before. You guys will see this in upcoming outfits for sure. Haven't done any outfit videos in a very long time because of the weather out here. In Montreal, we got a crazy snowfall, like almost a meter of snow um, recently. So outfit videos, not too sure I'm gonna, if I'm going to be doing that anytime soon, but uh, once I'm able to finesse it, I'll put that on the channel for you guys. So just stay posted, subscribe, notification bell, this and that, and get into the next piece. Moving forth with the knitwear, we got this cardigan, another made in Canada situation. Um, that's another thing that I kind of look for when I go thrift shopping. This was acquired in the thrift as well as that last piece. The last piece was a size medium or large, I believe. And this is a size medium cardigan. Found this in the thrift, like I said just before. But yeah, what I look for in the thrift sometimes is made in Canada or made in the USA. That just kind of ensures a standard of quality for me. I don't know what that is, but I feel like the older garments that were made in better conditions, such as made in Canada and such as made in US, they just hit different. <laughs> they hit way, way more different than they do um, any other pieces that I find that are like made in like India or made in uh, China, etc. I feel like the textiles and the construction just aren't as good as far as vintage garments go. So when I found this, I definitely scooped it up with the swiftness. The pattern slash motif is so nice on this. I believe it's an acrylic blend. What I do love is the swoop that it has on the front, kind of like belts up similar to the bare knuckles one. And if you guys are interested in me doing a how to style cardigans video, because that is definitely one of my favorite garments to style as of recent. Um, I have this along with the Lacoste ones that you've seen me pick up in the past and then also that new Barrow Knuckles one that's in like a mustardy yellow. You already know that's Yellow Gang certified so I might have to try and scoop that and then do the high style cardigans video for you guys. So that'll be pretty cool, interesting. Another good cardigan added to the collection. Gotta see the details on that one, really cool. Okay, so the last piece is from another curated vintage Instagram shop or Instagram seller rather called Grail Vintage. I've been shopping with him through that pop-up situation that I've been uh, hinting at on the earlier stage of this video. It's called Flow, Flow Boutique, I believe, or Flow Shop, Flow Market. Something of the likes of that, I'll put it on the screen. If you guys are in Montreal and you are into vintage, curated vintage, this is like probably the best thing for you. Every month they do a selection of vendors, small, vintage vendors within the city or even from other places in Canada. And if they want to come and sell throughout that month, they all come together, set up shop for the month. And there's like a bunch of mini boutiques within this grand boutique, if that makes sense. So there's a bunch of individual vendors in a big space. 
it's for a whole weekend and it's great because there's so many different types of vintage clothing there. And I came across like a couple of vendors that I do frequent whenever I go there every month and Grail Vintage and Clarendon, Clarendon? I believe is the name. Sorry if I'm butchering that, but um, those are the two guys that I frequent pretty often because they have a great selection. And I got this the last time I was at the flow market. So this is just like a baby swoosh Nike sweatshirt, size XL, blue on blue tonal, really sick. Just kind of like raised, just like the wash on this type of blue. I find this blue just looks really great on my skin. like. The way it contrasts, I can't really pass it up whenever I come across this blue. And you guys will see more of this color and, and more pickups to come because I've just been scooping it up like crazy. I find it looks great with my skin, like I said before. So um, it was a no brainer for me to pick this up. And like I said before, white tab, Nike. So you know it's made in USA. So it was a no brainer for me. Like I said before, made in Canada, made in USA. Sign me up, love those. And the last piece for this video is from the same seller, Grail Vintage. He is a good Canadian seller if you guys are into, into any of that. Really fast shipping, great selection. And I had gone this off of his Instagram selling platform rather than seeing him at the flow market. So he posted this. The only one that I'm missing after this crew neck is the black with the white mini swoosh. And I think I'll be done. This is an XL as well. XL or large should fit you fine with these these specifically but um it depends on how you wanted to fit these are just like way more baggy on me the baby swoosh gray with the black really sick really really cool heather gray classic can't go wrong with this white tag oh my god i'm thirsty i didn't pour any water and i'm suffering because of it didn't pour no water just out here struggling and that was the last of my vintage pickups for this month. Probably gonna get some more because you guys know how I do. I just come across vintage whenever I, I can, honestly. And like I said in the video before this one, I'll probably end up doing that come thrift with me video very shortly. Um, I just feel like it'll be some good content for the channel. So I already did it once. So I, and I didn't bring my camera, but I'll probably add those pickups along with the video that I do for that to have just more items because I'd never really have luck whenever I shoot those style. Those types of videos, I always end up scrapping it because I don't find anything. Whenever I bring my camera, I just feel like it's bad luck. So I, I've always scrapped it in the past, but this time I'm committed. I wanna try and get those videos done. We'll see how they turn out. Hopefully they turn out because I really wanna put those out for you guys. That'll be on the horizon soon thrifting videos, styling videos once the weather gets better, more pickups as always, and also some other videos that I have in mind down the pipeline. You guys gave some good recommendations in the comments last video, so I'm always into that. Definitely keep me posted with those as always. And on a, another note, my name is Kyron. You guys can keep up to date with me on my Instagram, G-O-T-S-W-E-I-G-E, -E, is where you keep up to date with me on a more frequent basis. I already said keep up to date with me way too much, but anyway, subscribe if you haven't already. I drop videos pretty frequently on this channel in relation to men's fashion. And then also like the video if you haven't, it helps out a ton, recommended boys. We're trying to get up on there. And I'll see you guys on the next one as always. Notification bell if you haven't already also. See you guys on the next one. Peace. Skinny nigga from the barks. Uber pick you in a hearse. Soldier gear in the field, boy. Call the sound on the ground, boy. Send the sound, triple blanky noise. Lucy Lee with the sticks, boy. Ah, shit.